Hey guys, gamer of gamers in the zone. Welcome to another episode of Metroid Fusion. You might notice a few differences in my recording quality, and that's because I'm just not interested in having lights shining in my eyes right now. In the last episode, uh, we managed to take out, I think, like a Galactic Federation bioweapon of some kind. And then we got our hand, we opened up all the locks, which apparently the level 4 ones, uh, the, our little computer wasn't exactly happy about us doing for some reason. I mean, I get you never ordered us to do that, but it was kind of our only way back. Along with getting our hands on the diffusion missiles, which, well, that was also something else we needed in order to get back here. Well, something, another thing I, they mentioned was an intended error don't know what they mean by that, but I'm just using whatever I can to stop this parasite infestation. That being said, let's uh, double check and see what our mission was. Security robot bo box detected in Sector 6. Okay. So we're looking for that robot. Does it mention anything about the target? No, it does not. So I'm kind of on my own in terms of finding this thing. Alright, get over here. So I guess I'll start out by just doing some looking around and see what I come across as I go. See, yeah, I have no idea what to expect. Wait, what's the point of having that there? What was the point of this area again? I can't remember. Objective here right now is to just find that uh, weapon so we can take it out along with the X parasite that's in it so we can potentially get our hands on another ability. Still no idea where it's at though. Uh oh, did we. Wait, did we go through this door? Okay, yeah, we did. Let's double check this door though, because I have. I've kind of forgotten what's in some of these stores, so it never hurts to double check. Oh yeah, that. To reveal that that's a fake. Yeah, I remember that. What else was back here? Get the feeling there should be more back there than just this. But of course there's nothing here, so no reason for me to remain in this room. Get out of here. Got him. For the big ones, that's what you gotta go for. So there must have been something I missed at one point that I couldn't reach. Like this area here. There's a... There's that there that I still don't know how to break those blocks in particular. And, okay, this requires power bombs, so maybe, uh, it's back here. definitely sealed behind a level 4 door, so it would make logical sense for it to be hiding back here. Did not see you guys there. Oh, uh, let's hope that was the way forward. I'd also like to believe we're eventually gonna come across a save room. Okay, so 
two pathways. I don't know which leads where. Okay, that leads to that, so I'm betting at some point we're gonna get our hands on the wave beam. Yeah, it's my assumption that this, uh, the, ex the next X parasite we absorb is gonna have the wave beam. Let's take a quick look around here, because there's no way there'd just be nothing here. There'd at least be something here. Guess not. Alright, well, we've got a variety of paths here. Okay, do I shoot down here? Yes, I do. First, oh, good, a save room. And you know what that means. Must mean we're getting close to that weapon. Another level 4 security door. So we must be getting close. Oh yeah, we're getting very close. Warning. No entry without authorization. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. Okay. Warning. No entry without authorization. Yeah, but what if that's Warning. the way in? No entry without authorization. Alright, fine, I'll leave that area alone. Warning. No entry without authorization. I'm... Warning. No entry without authorization. Okay, is there a way I can get that to stop? No entry without authorization. So that is starting to kind of get on my nerves. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. Alright, there must be something I can do in here. Warning. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without Is there anything I can do here? Warning. No entry without authorization. No entry without there doesn't authorization. appear to be anything I can do, and I can't open that door from that Warning. way. Warning. No entry. Okay, that door is getting it. Warning. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. That thing is not gonna shut up, is it? Warning. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. I'm not sure if that's like an indicator. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. I heard something. Warning. No entry without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. That thing does Warning. not want to No shut entry up. without authorization. Warning. No entry without authorization. Alright. Well, I heard something Warning. coming up, so no it must be something. We're about to go up against. Warning. No entry without authorization. Yes, I know. Warning. No entry. Oh. Oh. The floor is electric again. I, how do I win this fight? Okay, the fusionists are doing nothing to this guy. Do I have to do what I did before and, uh... Okay, that's definitely what I have to do, but, like, this time I don't really have a whole lot I can do. What exactly was I supposed to do there? 
was I supposed to like pow use power bombs or something? Right, so we go in here and then I have to go back the other way. Warning. Which is something I'm personally not a fan of, but I guess it's supposed to add like a sense of dread to it. Warning, no entry without authorization. 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 I want to get out of here. Yeah, I know. Warning. So I wonder if there's a way I can... Oh, thank goodness. some of this. It's like I get knocked down with the missiles because some of them this is getting on my nerves. Oh my goodness, that thing kept pursuing me. Also, that thing does not give me enough height to work with. What was I supposed to do? I mean, at least there was a bit of a pattern to the first fight, but that time it just... That was just stupid. That's what that was. Okay, so I'll try just using the plasma beam on those missiles, because that might be a better way of... Maybe a better way of taking that thing out. Also, let's save here the moment I go up to the door, because... I am also getting tired of having to go back and forth. Alright. I'm not gonna bother with those guys since they hurt you when you shoot them. Okay, so I'll just use my plasma beam and one of the missiles. <sighs> Samus, get back up. supposed to know when he's about to jump. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Some of these hits are just feeling straight up stupid. Okay, as soon as they stop shooting the missiles, I know... I'll probably want to focus on getting away from them, because they're probably going to immediately jump like that. They're not giving me any time to shoot. And 
and also they have like exactly enough of a reach distance to be able to land hits on me. Okay, so when they do normal walking, they only jump, it seems, a couple of times. Okay, so one, two, and then, okay, only two times, it seems. Okay, so maximum of two times that they jump. Oh, finally. Um... So can we talk about that? Alright. Not a fan of, like, these Warning. parasite yeah, X's that, like, when you get them to their, like, no parasite X form. That, like, they go straight to, like, trying to shoot you. Okay, no, I'm going into Spider Man. No Alright, I'm coming. Warning. No entry without. predict the amount of times it's gonna jump. How did I still get hit there? It's like... Even though I'm shooting, barely shooting it, I'm still somehow getting hit. I'm just left confused as of how I got hit. Stop jumping at some point. Okay, I'm and of course, I just barely miss its weak spot. Oh, good, I got it. 
Wave beam ability. Yeah, the wave beam. Okay, beam can now penetrate walls. Alright, where's the nearest save room? Oh yeah, this here, Warning. that's right. No entry without authorization. That thing is still Warning. going off. No entry without authorization. Let's go deal with that. Because I think now we can use the wave beam to shoot through no that opening. No Alright, well first things first, actually. Um, let's go back and see what uh, our next objective should be. Since last time we went somewhere on our own, um, we got a bit of a bit criticized from the, the computer. So let's quick head to back to the navigation room and see what our next objective is. Maybe there's a way we can turn that off and see what that's about. But now I've got the the good old plasma beam and wave beam combo. Except I don't know if the white beam is supposed to make it stronger or less. I'm not sure about that, but nonetheless, we should be quite powerful now that we have the wave beam at our disposal. Oh, that's right, we're stuck down here again. I forgot. Okay, so our only way forward then is to just go this way. Alright, I should be able to press that button again to the... Yeah, no entry without authorization. Yeah, I know. Get over here. Wait, where'd he go? Yeah, I got away. Alright, let's see this here. Does that count as... Restricted zone? I'm gonna hear that the whole time I'm here, aren't I? Okay, well, I'm obviously not supposed to be here, but... I once again have no choice. If I want to get back to doing my mission. So sorry, buddy, but this is kind of the only way forward. Where are we exactly? Oh, is this like, uh. Ooh, okay. Huh? Oh, just barely messed it up. Is there a way I can turn that off? Yes, I am aware. And I am working on it. I am only here so I can get out of the main area. Restricted that what? Um could someone explain to me why there are Metroids here? Okay, well first things first. Oh uh, finally that alert went away. Good, that thing was annoying me. Got him. I what? So, what all then? What's the whole point of having that there? Huh. Oh well. It's not our focus. So there's a restricted area, and obviously, I know we're not supposed to be back here, but what are Metroids even doing here? So it says I can go up there, so what happens if I try going up there? Okay, nothing happens, but we've got, for some reason, Metroids. Without any explanation why it... Along with what looks to be... Oh! I've seen some of this in, uh, when I looked up a Let's Play for Metroid 2. That's like the one 2D Metroid game I haven't played. And I think these are supposed to be, like, evolved forms of Metroids. I don't know 
fully understand the entire cycle, but yeah, these are some different Metroid forms that they can take. That doesn't sound good. What's happening now? It says I can go upward. Can I go upward? Anywhere? No. This area is a dead end. What is going on here? Oh! What are you doing, Sax? Uh-oh. Uh, where's the way out? Ah, here it is. Um, okay, what was that about? We had a full-on, I think, Metroid... We had a full-on Metroid breeding chamber going on there. That was strange. Ah, here we are. Yeah, what's going on here? Samus. You shouldn't have done that. How was I supposed to get back to the navigation room? You ignored your or- Okay, listen, buddy. I tried as much as possible to avoid that, but the way in was blocked. My only way forward was to go into that restricted area. What was I supposed to do? Like, be stuck? Because this is like the second time now that I've had to do that. What else do you want me to do? You may have to pay a price for that quite soon. As you can see, the Federation has been secretly working on a Metroid breeding program. For peaceful application only, of course. Please understand. But perhaps you already knew of this program's existence? I didn't. Certainly, you must have had doubts when you saw Sector 1. SRX, a faithful replica of the SR388 ecosystem. I actually didn't make that connection, actually. That's pretty interesting, actually. Ideal for raising Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and even Omega Metroids. Ooh, okay. But, uh, not Queens? Because I believe that's the final evolved form and, like, the final boss in the original. Metroid 2 was like a queen Metroid. This research even uncovered techniques for rapid growth. Yeah. Also, I'd just like to point out that wasn't me that blew up that restricted area. That was the sax that did that. Just saying. Technique for rapid growth. Imagine creating an Omega from a larval Metroid in days. But that research is finished. Okay. Listen, that wasn't my fault, that was the sax. The X has smelled out its natural enemy, and one of the sax is on its way here. One? Are you saying there is more than one sax? Don't be so surprised, Samus. You know that the X reproduce by asexual division. Because of this mechanism, there are now no fewer than 10 sacks aboard the station. That's not good. If that's the case, we better hurry up and take them down at some point. Samus, you must go. Get out. If you stay too long, the sacks will destroy you. Stop only at navigation room to uplink to me. I don't know how HQ is going to take this, but you need to report to them immediately. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now get going. Yeah, let's get out of here. If there are ten of them, and I don't even know if we're, we have all the abilities we need yet to take them on. But yeah, it's a good idea we go ahead and get out of here. The real Adam would have said the same thing about that incident, but he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he always cared. He was not a machine obsessed with a with duty. No such compassion could exist in that computer. Okay, so I don't know why you're talking about that. I mean, it, it is just a computer. 
I mean, it's a good way of having a nice memory of your good old buddy Adam, but... Yeah, I hate to say this, but obviously it's a computer, not Adam. Okay, so this is an item here. Except I'm not seeing any items. Ah, there it is. So let me real quickly just... Huh. Let me just get in there real quickly and... Wait, oh, do I have to use, like, the diffusion missiles? Can I use the diffusion missiles on this? Okay, I can. Energy tank acquired. Oh, this is an entire layer of energy tanks. Okay. Still not strong enough to take those guys out on the own. I will say, the diffusion missiles, uh, they're interesting in terms of widespread damage, but considering the fact that you have to charge them on, I don't exactly see what uh, advantage they continuously have against bosses. Cause I have heard from one of my friends online that it's easier to just use the regular ice missiles rather than the diffusion missiles on bosses. Alright, where are we here? We should be getting close to getting out of here, right? There's the way back up. Ow! Hey! I get to utilize my new wave beam. Um, what is that? Okay, let's get out of here. like those one enemies on uh no how do i beat this thing all i can really do then is assume that that's the that that's either the wrong way or something else There is a way we didn't go down here yet. Huh? Wait, ah! Okay, um... There must be something I'm missing, then, if, uh... There must be something I'm missing if some of these ways forward don't exactly have what I'm looking for. So this door is currently sealed off. Nothing's opening that. Alright, so I'm gonna try some ideas here. First off, is there maybe a way through here that I can be able to 
find a way out. So I get the feeling there is a way to get to that door that I may not know of. I did not mean to use a power bomb, but okay. I'm dead. I should just spam missiles at those guys. Those guys are annoying. There must be a way I can take that enemy out somehow. somewhere. So is it like I just gotta take these guys out one at a time? That should do the trick. happens once uh... there was nothing I could do against that golden enemy so I think I'm once again stuck because I can't figure out how to get this door open so I'm once again kind of just left to just shoot everything in the hopes that I can find the way forward. And I really don't know if it has something to do with those enemies or what. It's like maybe I have to like try using the diffusion missiles to freeze all of them or something. And maybe that will reveal the solution. That might have something to do with it. Let me try that. Maybe as they're frozen, I... So how do I harm them in this form? That's what I want to know. So what happens if I let more of these guys enter the room exactly? 
Does something happen? Can I use their beams to get through the door? No. So something, there must be a reason for doing this. Fusion misses do nothing to them. And, okay, you know what? I might as well just die at this point, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait a minute. Is there anything at all in the save rooms? Okay, nothing in the save room. sealed off doors. some kind. So maybe there is like a secret pathway that I don't know about. I really don't know at this point. Because at this point I feel like I tried about everything. I'm not seeing any invisible pathways. Is there anything I can do in this one? stuff is at. Okay, maybe 
something will happen if I leave the uh, X Parasite alone. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to happen. I do appreciate the free health, though. Alright, so then they, they go into the form of this enemy, and I'm not sh sure what to do about this, because my attacks don't deal any damage when they're in that form. So let's try just one, to see if that changes anything. That changes nothing. Right now I feel like I'm just left confused as of what I'm supposed to be doing. It's like, I absorb them, nothing happens. I... I... I don't absorb them, they transform into an enemy that I supposedly can't kill. And it's like, what's the whole idea of having an unkillable enemy if there's like... Nothing you can do about it afterwards. Because I can't do anything about those beams. Diffusion missiles don't work on them. Despite the fact that they're supposed to be the strongest missiles in the game. Say, what happens if I... Okay, that didn't work. Oh wait, no, there is a weakness, I saw it. Okay, so there is a weakness then. Okay. So this whole time there was a weakness I didn't even know. Okay, so they were kind of like... So I had to shoot them in the back. That's how I harmed them. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but considering the amount of damage I take in... I kind of don't like that. So that's like a super secret weakness that I'm just left like thinking there's no way I would have figured that out on my own. Because now I'm stuck here having to grind for... grind for health off these other X parasites. At least this room here makes it easy to grind for them, but there are some rooms where it's not easy. So yeah, this is my fastest method right here is from these guys. How did those guys transform into more So yeah, I'll just start by taking a moment to just heal up here so I can withstand their strong attacks, because those were some strong attacks those uh, enemies were unleashing. Get over here. That 
thing drains my health actually a little bit quickly, so I'd better be careful to avoid that. You gotta be careful when fighting these things, because some of them become pretty strong afterwards. So is it like if I do nothing about them, they get bigger and yeah, they multiply, okay. thinking this, but I was just wondering if it was possible for uh, um, a, an ex-parasite to take the form of uh, a Metroid. Though since, uh, you know, the Parasite X is supposed to be the natural prey of the Metroid, I, I think it should have been obvious that that's it's like impossible for something like that to be possible. Interesting, we get to have a live interpretation of an ex-parasite multiplying. Well. The uh, wide beam combo that makes this much easier to work with. Oh, almost there. Alright, one more go into this room and we should be uh, about healed up. Gotta say, these things multiply fast if there's so many that Samus can absorb. <coughs> ah. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, let's get a move on. Another one. Well, at least I'm able to get at it while it's jumping. Okay. Uh, let me quick go down and see what's down here. And there's more of these guys. gonna take some figuring out.
Oh. Okay, it's boss time. Alright, where was the nearest safe room? I'd like to find the nearest possible save room before we go straight for the boss. That being said, maybe it was a mistake for me to uh, leave after all that effort of getting to the boss door, but I would like to find a proper save room. Here we are. Gotta deal with another boss just to get out of here. dealing with along here. Cause I, oh, it's the Ridley thing. Actually, let's prepare diffusion missiles. That can't be good if we have the cryogenic Ridley. Alright, let's go Ridley. Or, I guess, I guess it's technically not Ridley since it's an ex-parasite in the form of Ridley. And I cannot figure out this attack pattern at all. I have no idea what's happening. randomly spamming because I have oh they home in now what is happening oh this thing is like okay so it's like the it's like the nightmare fight getting annoyed by that tail. He's almost down. Oh. Should have gone into it with full health. It's a shame though because the only enemies I can really grind off of in here are the annoying enemies. I didn't mean to use that. I think it's like when I get close to them or something that they do that. Something I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out, but I'm gonna need to master this. If I'm to stand a chance against Ridley, probably. 
Okay, I think it's specifically when I get close to them or something that uh, they go and making it the jump over me. So it's gonna be kind of pointless if I can't even get my health up. Yeah, I'm losing health doing this. So I think it was a big mistake for me to take out the boss door before... kind of my only way to get my hands on any extra health right now. These guys drop so little health this for such a long time and we're over the hour mark i think i'm gonna do what i something similar to what i did at the end of the uh all right i think i'm gonna do something similar to what i did at the end of my last episode of metroid fusion where i take the time to go offline for a quick moment and like do a bit of time offline to prepare myself, and then when I get back online, I'll focus the entire episode towards the actual fight against Ridley. I say we do that. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I'll get myself back up to full health eventually. With that being said, thanks for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed this episode, Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and click the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent everyone!